Hello YouTube, um, here we are again back in the IX EG737300 from X Aviation. Uh, in the last video we had a look at starting this aircraft up from cold and dark and um, today we're going to have a look at how to uh, put a route into the flight management computer and set that up from our a flight from uh, Birmingham EGBB where we're sat at the moment to um, Dublin in Ireland EIDW so um, <clears throat> let's have a, uh, a look at uh, the FMC just zoom in there uh, it comes on to the uh, when you uh, first put the aircraft on the performance any page uh, which is uh, uh, needs some information putting in but we'll come back to that shortly what we need to do first of all is go to the routes page and uh, uh, we need to put our uh, <coughs> departure airport and destination airport uh, so first of all we'll put in EGBB Birmingham and we're going to EIDW Dublin in Ireland ok now we we'll click on the route button and we can put the rest of the uh, information in for the route to Dublin uh, now the first waypoint uh, we're going to be looking at is uh, WHI which is an NDB and we're going to be uh, put, a, uh, put that into the right hand uh, column at the first button and that will give us a direct to WHI uh, next we're going to be using an airway um, which is L8 L8 and we'll put that in, this time into the left hand side and that will uh, be an airway L8 and it will give us two and we're going to VABKA 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 and we'll pop that into the right hand side ok the next um, airway is Q4 Q4 into the left hand column and that will uh, take us to a Wallasey WAL Wallasey Vore which is near Liverpool ok and then we're going UL10 UL10 left hand side and that's going to take us to Penil 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 and we're looking at airway UL70 UL70 and that will take us to BAGSO B-A-G-S-O B-A-G-S-O and that's the last wake point of the flight plan ok so if we look at the legs page now we've got a whole bunch of uh, waypoints in between those airways and it will take us up to the Bagzo so the next thing we need to do is go to um, departure and arrivals page and we we'll put in the departure uh, runway and uh, SID now we're going to be taking off today from Birmingham uh, so we'll cut the winds 320 at 16 knots runway 33 and if you remember the first waypoint we were looking at was WHI and we've got a WHI 4D in the SIDS uh, list so we'll choose that one no transition and uh, if we just go back to the legs page now it's put that departure SID into the FMC with the altitude restrictions that uh, 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 come with that SID next thing we need to do is put the arrival uh, runway and uh, star in we're going to be landing today at uh, 28 runway 28 ILS uh, arrival and the last white point if you remember was Bagzo now we've got a choice of Bagzo 1K, 1L and 1X we're going to choose the 1X today and um, no transitions on that one so let's have a look at the legs page now and uh, we need to have a check there's no discontinues in the uh, legs page let's click through all the page 
and that looks fine uh, we've now got the uh, <coughs> star the rival uh, altitude restrictions in the FMC uh, so what we need to do now is go to the INREF page and put some information in uh, the FMC uh, zero fuel weight and uh, <coughs> cruise altitude etc okay so first of all we want to have a look at the zero fuel weight if we go over to the menu on the left hand side and we click on ground services it will tell us the zero fuel weight of the aircraft which is 88.2 and we need to put that uh, information into the FMC so we pop that in 88.2 and that will uh, tell us the uh, gross weight uh, reserves today are going to be 1.5 1 1 and a cost index of 80 um, plant fuel uh, if we go to ground services it tells you there and it's 10, uh, 10 tons of uh, plant fuel so we'll pop that into there uh, altitude uh, cruise altitude is going to be 21,000 feet 210 and the cruise wind um, 21,000 feet today the winds are looking 149 degrees 17 knots 149 stroke 1 7. Uh, trans transition altitude at Birmingham Airport is 5,000 feet so we don't need to alter that uh, figure there. Uh, next thing we need to do is go to the um, N1 limits. Um, we're not going to do uh, uh, anything on the uh, on the first page derate the engines we're just going to leave that as it is for simplicity we'll just go straight to the takeoff page and uh, put the uh, V speeds in for takeoff. We're going to be using flaps 5, uh, 5 degrees, and if we now click on the uh, right hand buttons as we go down, V1, V rotate, and V2, that's the speeds we need to uh, be looking at for takeoff. So if we go back uh, to the uh, legs page, <coughs> we can see now that uh, all the information is. Uh, is in the uh, flight plan all the altitude restrictions and uh, distance between uh, each waypoint all the way up to uh, <coughs> runway 28 at, uh, at Dublin and that's uh, that's all there is to it really it's quite a quite easy to set up the FMC um, in the uh, in the 737 um, <coughs> We, uh, if we have a look at the primary flight display now, uh, in fact, if we go down uh, to the uh, switch to the map mode, there, nice little feature. You can have a look at uh, what you're altering in the corner there. Say so we're going up to the to front of the uh, panel. Uh, if we go to plan mode, um, we can put that to 20. We can actually step through. Um, Go back to uh, page uh, page one. We can step through the uh, route using the step button there and look at each waypoint. Make sure there's no oddities in there. And that's looking uh, that's looking okay. Into Dublin. Okay, lovely. So we we'll put that back to the map. And I um, hope you've enjoyed. This, uh, this short video uh, looking at the FMC in the IX uh, EG 737. I think uh, next uh, time we'll, uh, we'll come back and we'll do the uh, do the flight from uh, from Birmingham to Dublin. So uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.